So, uh, basically, a, uh, I think it was more than a few months ago, on Revelation 22.13, which is Fred's channel, by the way, I'm not affiliated with Fred, I'm just saying that's his channel, uh, we approached this young man. Now, uh, when we approached him, he threw away our tracts. He, he claimed he was attending church and stuff, but he threw away our tracts, he didn't want anything to do, and he was a Muslim at that time. He was, he was there. It was he right over there, in fact, if you yeah. point the camera over there. So it's right over there, and it's filmed on Revelation 22.13. Now, this young man's gonna tell you why he became a Christian and what's happened since then. Okay. So, I got baptized April uh, this year, 2023. My name is Mebs, and I left Islam. Bless you. Um, I left Islam because it was too rough. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't right. What I seen in Islam. So. What wasn't right? You get anything wrong in Islam, they will hit you. Mm. And that's what happened to me. My experience. Mm. <coughs> People told me about Christ. I said no, no, no. One day I listened to, listened to a person, cry, for, um, for Lord Christ, and I chose to change. Gave my, gave my life to him. Yeah, and what was the defining moment that made you change and become a The Christian? dreams, the dreams I've been seeing. I've been seeing a lot of Bible dreams. Wow. So that's why I changed to Christianity. What, what yeah. dreams were there? Like, you they, just, just, just seeing a Bible. That's all I saw. You just saw the Bible? They just saw a Bible a lot of time. So I changed. And now I don't speak to my parents. They're Muslim. And my dad, my dad prays five times a day. I asked him, why do you pray five times a day? He said, I said, I'm scared of Allah. I said, that doesn't make no sense. Why, do you, think, why do you think he's scared of Allah? What do you think makes him scared of Allah? Um, if you don't pray, if you don't pray, you got five times prayer. If you don't pray once, you go to hell. How does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. God loves us. And he's up there. He loves us. And just because you miss one prayer, he shouldn't put you in hell. It does not make sense. So to me, Islam did not add up for me. And what, and what has happened since you left Islam? What have you faced? The trials and tribulations? Okay, so, okay, bro, let me tell you a story, yeah? Mm. So I was on the other side, it was Ramadan time. I was on the other side with some sisters praying, mm. and they said, would you like some food? So they bought me some food. While we were praying, a Muslim guy came up, done that, looked at me, and done that, shaked his head and went. After he went, after he went, um, I thought he left, I ate my chips, that time I was sleeping in Homerton Hospital and so I thought I'd get back on the train and just go back. I had the burger and the drink still with me. I went on the train and it's the same Muslim guy. He goes sit down next to me. So I thought he's inviting me, let me go hey, sit down. I got you that. I sat I down. You that. Did you drink it? I, I sat down next to him. After I sat down next to him, he goes, are you a kufar? Or are you a Muslim? Kufar means non-believer. Mm. I said, well, I'm, I'm a Christian. And you know what he said? Were you Muslim before? I said, I used to be. Attacked me straight away. I got attacked. Sorry, bro, wait, wait. wait a minute. Sorry, I don't mean to... Would you like to have a conversation with us? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what your people are speaking no, no, about. Oh, so we're speaking about religion. This, okay. this guy is an ex-Muslim. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're engaging with him about why it's appropriate to leave Islam. Are you a Muslim? Why any no, I'm a Hindu. Oh, you're Hindu? Yeah. So if you can, look, right, if you, it'd be possible, we're just going to allow him to tell his story for a few other minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's and then could you stay, like, possibly, and then I'll have a conversation with you. Okay. Would that be fun? Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Um, yeah. I got attacked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, continue, sorry. Continue. Yeah, yeah, I got attacked on the train. He said, I'm a kafar, a non believer. Mm. Yeah. What, what else? What happened with like your dad and stuff? Because it's important to tell non believers like, what happened to you when you left Islam. So, How was it in your family? My family, dad attacked me. My dad broke my nose. Wow. Um, I don't speak to my family. Uh, they didn't want nothing to do with me. Um, I lost a lot of friends, left me, but my Christian friends always helped me out. Yeah, um, um, yeah it's just, um, I, I've been homeless before as well. Went to a mosque and said, can I sleep here? No, you can't. Went to a church, can I sleep here? Yes, you can, you're more than welcome. How does that work out? Exactly. Yeah, how does it, how I realized, look, anywhere in the UK, Christians, do a lot of food bank, feed people. 
Why don't the Muslims do that? Exactly. Only on Ramadan they do that. According to Pew Research, <laughs> the highest, most charitable organisation are Christian organisations. Yeah, yeah. There, there's many, for example, the Trussell Trust, uh, the, the various churches that help people, in, in, just food, food and food banks, and even churches that help people to have shelter. Yeah. That all comes from the Christian paradigm, which tells us, where Jesus tells us himself, yeah. like, do unto others as you'd have done to yourself. Yeah. If you feed, clothe and wash yourself, you are to do this to other people. Yeah, and it's yeah. the command that these individuals have in their mind. Like, yeah. If you have this stuff, you should do it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. For a man who has two cups, give another one. One, yeah. that's what the Bible says. Yeah. But in terms of your suffering, bro, and I understand it completely, but me being in a situation myself, I've been homeless. Yeah, yeah. But the, the Lord delivered me out of it. I pray he does for you. Yeah. Ultimately, look, Christ says that we'll be persecuted for his name. He says yeah. this in John 3, 16. Yeah. Sorry, John 15 as well. And he even says, but he says in Matthew 11, that come to me, all you're wearing, and I will give you rest. Ultimately, yeah. there is no rest yeah, in anybody guy. else that's but the guy. Christ alone. That's the guy. I and asked only Christ that, that alone can us. give rest. The guy that went past us, I asked him, can I ask you a question? He goes, no, you are a Muslim. You're, you're a Christian now, you're a kuffar. Go away. Yeah. That's the guy that walked past us. The guy with the Moscow. And well, the they, they would, because you got to understand, they're of their father's sake. Yeah. They themselves are devoid of the light. Yeah. Like, the, the Bible says that the light came into the world and men hated the light because they love darkness. Yeah, yeah. The, the fact is, people love darkness, they love sin, they love to indulge their bodies in their flesh. Yeah. But the bodies in the flesh will perish. My yeah. friend, you in this body right now, yeah. including me as well, we will all perish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But life will continue ever turn. Yeah. Now we need to establish, and I'm sure you've already established it, but we yeah. all as beings need to establish what happens thereafter. Yeah. What what do we actually go to and who do we actually see? Because yeah. this life means nothing. Yeah, that's true. It's nothing. That's true. You you yourself have said you've lost people, like out friend, people like my head your, your own family have rejected you for yeah. this course. Again, how important were they? To, were you to them yeah. when you was a baby in yeah. your in your mother's womb? When you you come out your mother's womb, yeah. she looked down upon you and thought you're precious. To cast you aside because you simply do not follow this yeah. religion of a demon doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. If anything, if a person embraces love, they would love everyone. Yeah. A person who doesn't embrace love cannot find it hard to love anyone. Yeah. And what I see within. The, the atheism the, of yeah. the world, the agnostics of the world, the Islam of the world. It's a religion of self, a religion of pride, and a religion of unloving. Yeah. Like, I, I don't want to preach to you, yeah. but is there anything you want to say to those Muslims who are, who are still entrapped in Islam um, as an ex-Muslim? Research uh, about uh, Christianity and you follow Christ's path. And hopefully you get baptized and become like, uh, be a Christian like me. And why, should, why should they? Because it's the right path. It's the right path. It's the right path. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. well, I thank you for having this conversation. Thank you, bro. And uh, it's been a blessing speaking to you. And yeah. I'm, I'm grateful you're at your Christian. Yeah. Well, God bless you. God and bless take care. <laughs> <laughs> uh,